Seminole County Public Schools is putting out the Help Wanted sign. The district says its biggest need right now is substitute teachers. News six is Nikki Zizaza joins us now from Seminole County. So, Nikki, you talked to the district today, right? Yes, Matt. District leaders here in Seminole County say they are trying to be proactive in addressing the substitute teacher shortage. And they say they're trying to get ahead of this before it gets to a critical point. And they say this goes beyond substitute teachers. They're talking a shortage in bus drivers plus food service workers. I just got an email letter from my child school principal today pleading for substitution help. Challenges the Seminole County School District is facing during the pandemic could be heard during Tuesday's school board meeting. I have a background in education and would qualify to serve as a Seminole County Public School substitute. I would be pleased to serve my community in this crisis. I can't because I can't put my family at risk. A substitute teacher shortage is the latest burden felt district wide. Because we're still in COVID, we still have the situations where teachers are having to quarantine um, themselves, whether or not they're fine, um, if they still have to quarantine because they may have been exposed. School officials say substitute teachers are in high demand, but may be in short supply. We're closer to around 50 to 60 percent at filling some of those vacancies. So what that means is other staff at the school may have to go in and fill in for a classroom on any given day. Due to challenges the ongoing pandemic has brought on, district leaders say they are trying to be proactive. You know, we have a lot of needs in a lot of areas. Substitute teachings, one, bus drivers. We have about 30 vacancies in bus driving that we're looking to fill. And then our food services, um, which we kind of hire through third party vendors. We probably have about 100 vacancies in that area. Now, the district says a majority of those vacancies will be for face to face instruction. However, the district leaders say that parents who are qualified are urged to apply. For now, I'm live in Seminole County, Nikki Zizaza getting results, News 6. Nikki, thank you.